Burlington City Hall certainly has changed since it was first built. The last major renovation was in 1985. If you happened to visit in the last 15 months, you may have wondered what was happening behind the scaffolding and tarps. Executive Director of Community Relations and Engagement, Jacqueline Johnson, believes that the first floor renovations were worth the wait. And the goal was to create a space that's welcoming and comfortable for visitors and uh, customers that come in to access our services. So now you'll notice a much more open flow to the first floor of City Hall. There is a brand new bridge that is 40 feet long and it links you from the Brant Street entrance right to Service Burlington. Service Burlington's the counter you'll want to head to for information about your taxes, to pay those taxes, parking tickets, register for city services and get a marriage license. Jennifer Burnett is one of the friendly faces that you'll meet there. She says one of the nicest differences, now that the first floor is complete, is when folks are looking for a different service that she doesn't handle, she no longer has to direct them to another floor. A building renovating and licensing that used to be located in the basement and on the second floor and right now it is all located together and that is where you can get information on building permits, licensing um, for personal and business, lottery or liquor licensing and zoning information and lots more. When the design was first shared by city staff in early 2021, social distancing was a major consideration. Now, post-pandemic, the additional space has an added benefit. For customers coming in to speak to staff at the counter, the, so the space does allow for more uh, private conversation. There are meeting rooms if you want to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. So that has definitely improved the experience uh, for all. Accessibility was key in the design. Desks at Service Burlington are two levels, making it easily accessible for community members using a wheelchair. There are also electric scooter chargers right through the front doors off Brant Street. We now actually have three fully accessible entrances and exits to City Hall. The most recent one is the entrance on Locust Street where the doors are now sliding and the entryway has been widened and it just looks amazing too. While the city plans to have a grand opening later this fall, after their soft opening last week, customers' feedback to the renovations has been positive. Definitely staff love the new space. You're seeing when people come in, they're sort of in awe and, and just like looking around and, and enjoying some of the, the conversation pods that have been recently put in where you can just sort of read a book, take a call, have a little conversation. And that really is the goal. We really want people to feel comfortable and welcome when they come into this new space. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.